Why is this important? We got to think about this chess situation. When a person plays chess, they have to have not one move in their mind in advance. They have to plan three, four, five moves in advance. And with the black community, when we talk about fighting back the devil, which I'm all down for, but the manner in which we fight back is where the setup comes in. Because if you study martial arts, you know, you can push a brother, and if you push him violently enough, abruptly enough, and spontaneously enough, you can anticipate almost 100% of the times for him to push you right back. As soon as he got pushed and realizes. And what does that mean? That means I can use his own momentum against him. You stand up real quick, brother. So I'm going to push this brother right now. And just boom, I ain't going to go in on you. <laughs> I'm going to shot down. Right? Ain't too far from New York. The mentality. Yeah, but I push you. Now go ahead. Intend to push me right back the second I push you. And then we learn in martial arts, we can use your momentum against you. Mm -hmm. Right? So, this devil takes control of your education. It's called the curriculum. And he's nice enough to tell you the truth about slavery and says, we raped you, we castrated you, we tied you together to horses and made them run in two different directions and all that other good stuff. He was nice enough to share the information with us to tell us how he beat up on the Indians and took advantage of them with brute force. In fact, everything he tells us in terms of how we lost our sovereignty is engendered or encapsulated around the principle of brute force. So I start thinking to myself and saying, why would they take the time out to tell us that they beat us up out of position? Unless they wanted us to beat them up out of position, which we obviously can't do. We ain't in that position to do so. So I said, wow, he's pushing us. He's teaching us that he pushed us, so what? We can push back. Mm -hmm. Wow, he owns the guns and the tanks and the helicopters. But even more significantly, a better question is this. <coughs> Did he even push us that much at all? So I went back to this Willie Lynch speech. And some people say, oh, it's a hoax. Mm -hmm. It's not real, it's a hoax. So I said, you know what? Let's not vibrate on the frequency of it being a hoax. Let's vibrate on the frequency that we can bear witness to this plan being executed. We stay on that frequency right now. We're going to bear witness that the plan has been executed, so I'm going to use it as a template for the rest of this lecture. I find it to be very interesting, the Willie Lynch speech, when they invited a slave master to come to America from the Caribbean to institute a new style of involuntary servitude. I found it to be very interesting. And the speech was so-called supposed to take place in 1712 on the Jamestown River, named after the old good version of the Bible. But I say he has taught us that he has beaten us up to take our position. So in turn, what's going to happen to us, we're going to want to beat somebody up to get back our position. So say he's playing chess. Because he don't tell you that when he makes a plan, he makes a 300-year plan. He makes a 400-year plan. He makes a 600-year plan, a 6,000-year plan. No, he tell you this. We just woke up one day, saw that those niggas over there got some land, and we just started pushing them and raping their women and ripping them together by having horses attached to both sides of their legs and making the horses go in opposite directions. And then people be like, oh, traumatized. You're watching the Rosewood movies. You're like, somebody got to get their ass kicked. You're watching those movies, and you're ready to go in. He's letting it go in Hollywood, though. And when he go in on a slavery movie, the white man go all the way in. And I'm like, after a while, this shit is made up, man. You just going too far. Going too hard. And all these slaves are just scared, scared straight. When you know Negroes today <laughs> put themselves in far worse predicaments. Negroes today get shot eight, nine times and then rap and tell the people that shot them, you still ain't kill me. <laughs> well, we want to watch ourselves during slavery and think we wasn't belligerent in the least. You seen a black woman lately? I'm telling you the truth. I ain't knocking black women, but have you seen a black woman lately? All up in her man's face. Her man can bitch press 200 pounds. She don't even weigh 200 pounds. She don't even weigh 80 pounds. And she in his face. What, nigga? That's the same black woman? In slavery, you think she wasn't game banging? You think we just accepted that? 
We wouldn't even change our name for this devil. How do both those stories run concurrent? They couldn't get us to change our name. And on the same series of the same show, episode two, we pass it. They teach us some craziness. But guess what? They can't tell you the truth. Because the truth of the matter was, they heard a few people. But the truth of the matter was this. This guy came and said, no, 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 you're doing it wrong. You can't use force. You got to get into their minds. He can't tell you the truth and say, look, this whole thing about slavery was just a ploy to get y'all to be super aggressive and ignorant. Where you wouldn't realize the true story was we sat down here and planned a plan that even our children would have to execute after us. They ain't planned them no plan so they can bear the fruits of their labor. They planned them a plan that perpetually each generation would have to execute the oppression of our people. Then if you knew that, then you'll say what? Then we have to start planning plans beyond this year. But you got Negro saying what? Ain't nothing to do today. I'm bored. <laughs> Why this devil lose sleep to keep us out of pocket? I'm bored today. I don't know what to do. What do you mean you don't know what to do? You don't feel oppressed? <laughs> so we look at this and we say, can you outthink your oppressor? We got to learn how to play chess off the board. But the first thing we got to realize is he's using, he's using our aggressiveness and our aggressive nature against us. He has us believing, he pushed us, so we got to push right back. And most of the name of the game for slavery is mental. In fact, Harry Tubman said it better than nobody else. She had to convince the slaves they were slaves in the first place to freedom. So that sounds like a mental warfare. That doesn't sound like physical warfare. And some stuff when you done cut, crack his head off, stomped out the womb of a white woman, shot down another white man, risking being burnt, castrated, lynched, and crucified all at the same time. Finally get to the 10 slaves you came to free. And only one don't want to leave because everyone think they're free anyway. Huh. Imagine. I don't got to imagine it because I live in it today. <laughs> Negroes going to argue with you like they don't know they're being oppressed. Uh -huh. So long as you give them a college degree. Shoot, some of us willing to fight in Iraq for a college degree. It shows you how deprived and depraved the information we are in what state we are in when we are willing to risk our life to get some misinformation. It's not even accurate information. But you know what it is? We figure we're going to die in these streets anyway. At least I can get a bootleg education, free car, and at least a $60,000 salary at the end of the year. Only risk is my life. <laughs> this is where we are. So like I said, they taught us that they pushed us so our game plan can be pushed back. And when we push back, they already got their guns, their tanks, their weapons, and everything ready. Mm -hmm. They already told the media that we nuts. They already make sure every rapper that goes out there tells you how big his guns are. <laughs> I be going into different towns. White people be seeing me because I travel quite a bit. And a lot of times, some of the houses I get are white communities. And I'm tall. <coughs> so if I ain't a basketball player, I'm up to something. <laughs> So I tend to just try to carry basketball on the strip. <laughs> They're like, what this nigga doing living in this community? <laughs> I be washing them up too. They be looking bad at me. I be going in on them. Give them a little shot for slavery. <laughs> but the thing is, they created these generalizations through the media. So a lot of people are stigmatized. A lot of white folks haven't even seen black people in their life. Yeah. We've traveled places where people are like, look, mommy, look. Uh -huh. <laughs> you see that white man all secure. And I go say hi to the white children. He's like, there he go with that big phallus of his trying to swing that shit around my wife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's penis in me. I'm like, I know it's in the wall windbreakers today. <laughs> Drinking all those tonics on that savvy diet. Ain't a good look being around those white boys. They swear somebody trying to get their woman. I'm saying, look, can you outthink your oppressor? We gotta learn how to play chess off the board. Because this kill the white man stuff can only take us but so far. 
Fight back if you're being oppressed, but you're not always being oppressed physically. Because if you was, we wouldn't be here. We'd be like this right now, the knuckle game. We being oppressed mentally because the people that are responsible for our education are our oppressors. So we're oppressing ourselves because we're consuming too much of the information. He got it good now. He got it real good. He got you in church. He got you in school. He got you at the workplace. He got us. Sever the bond between the man and the woman. How you gonna do that? Well, make that black man because his highest inclination is towards the creator and God. He's celestial. His upper chakras are more stimulated, more prone to stimulus than his lower chakras. He has to complete himself or fill those voids inside of him by way of merging and becoming one flesh with his woman. So the woman is what? Her lower chakras are more stimulated by way of the terrestrial plane. Or we call her the earth. When we was 5% of it, we say she's the earth and we God. That's why she's normally stronger in her legs and the man's normally stronger above the torso. You ever see them dudes doing tons of push-ups and lifting weights? Then they go out and wear some shorts. It's like, look at this in his legs. Like, it's crazy. And he be talking all that shit to you. You be like, yo, I'll trip you. Like, cut it out. With one thing, I'll push you over. Like, you'll tilt over. Seriously. I might be able to blow on your ass. You might fall. Those legs are too small for that big body of yours. But we see a woman and a black woman. See him trying to oppress her, and he smacking her the wrong way, and she used some strong legs of hers. Yep. Look like a damn horse legs that ass out there in the legs. Bang! <laughs> now, I've seen it. I've seen big brothers go down for some small black women. Those legs are like one of those animals that kick you miles away. <laughs> oh yeah, don't oppress her in front of children either. She get extra strong. That's what I'm saying. Like, look, we got the power, we got the potential, but we're not directing the energy the right way. So he has to think, we gotta get our weight up. But we don't wanna get our mental weight up, this is the problem. So we see here, ask the question, does slavery have anything to do with 2012? It's not the 2012 book in the three post shifts. Yes, slavery has a great deal to do with 2012. Remember, Willie Lynch was invited to America to teach the white American families how to make the best of slaves. Willie Lynch, it says here, Willie Lynch speech, 1712, excerpt. I have a foolproof method for controlling your black slaves. I guarantee every one of you that if you install it correctly, it will control the slaves for at least 300 years. And I'm saying 2012, they're making up a new slave. Why is that significant? Because if the speech took place in 1712 on the Jamestown River, and he's saying, yo, please, if you can hold it down for at least 300 years, we'd be all right. 300 plus 1712 gives you 2012. Just mm -hmm. so say, yo, these guys, when they plan a plan, they plan a serious plan, mm -hmm. and they plan a plan that takes hundreds of years to fully execute. Mm -hmm. They didn't truly conquer us yet. The name of the game is to see to it that they can impede on the consciousness that we're supposed to receive. Because you gotta remember, when you see the full spectrum of light solidified, it is melody. This means what? They play games again with us. How? Because they say we're colored and they're light skinned. But in fact, they're colored because you can see every color of their veins through their skin. You can see green veins, blue veins, pink veins. They're colored and we're light skinned because we're light beings. Because full spectrum light solidified is melody. So we're light-skinned, and they're colored. <coughs> and light is consciousness, and light is information. So naturally, we have the ability to in-house more information than any other being on the planet. Everybody got melanin, but not quite like us. Light traps information. Light is consciousness. They study light and see that light has conscious grooves and behavior. They see that light behaves differently in the dark than it does in a place where it is observed or identified. Light is conscious. Therefore, we are light-skinned. So we see, I have a foolproof method for controlling your black slaves. I guarantee every one of you that if you install it correctly, it will control the slaves for at least 300 years. And I say, wow, 300 years, 
The Willie Lynch speech took place in 1712. And here we go. 300 plus 1712 gives us 2012. And I said, I wonder if this is a coincidence. I said, keep in mind that this speech was given in the year 1712. So we discussed that. Let's go on, baby. It's more interesting right here. It's more and more interesting. There's a part of the speech for how to make a slave that took place in 1712. Warning, possible interloping negatives. This is a tone in which I went through some information that corresponds with the self-realization of what they are attempting to do. It says here in the speech, this is the um, reactivation of the 22 strand DNA book that I came out with. Our experts warned us about the possibility. This is what the slave master had wrote, Willie Lynch. Our experts warned us about the possibility of this phenomenon occurring. For they say that the mind has a strong drive to correct and recorrect itself over a period of time if it can touch some substantial original historical base. Mm. So hold on. We know they have a plan. They want to at least execute it at least 300 years to tap on to the 1712, which would be 2012. And right after this, he says, they say that the mind has a strong drive to correct and recorrect itself over a period of time if it can touch some substantial original historical base. So it suffice to say, if they believe this, and look, it says, and they advise us that the best way to deal with the phenomenon is to shape off the brute's mental history and create a multiplicity of phenomena of illusions. So not only did the speech take place in 1712, not only did he say at least execute this plan to keep us brain dead for at least 300 years, and 300 plus 1712 equals 2012, then he backs it up and says, look, the mind has a tendency to recorrect the wrong. Mm -hmm. Meaning what? He's anticipating and awakening. So he didn't just plan a regular plan. You gotta outthink your oppressor. He planned to put you asleep and he plans and anticipates your awakening. So he's planning to put you back to sleep the second you start waking up. This, these guys are far from stupid. We can call them a lot of names, but don't call them stupid. These are scientists, wicked scientists. We're not talking about the regular pale man that you see walking up and down the block. We're talking about a different type of species. We're talking about the breed, the wicked and intelligent breed of that species. Ingenious. Plan a plan so much so that we're going to put you asleep. It's going to take us some hundreds of years. And by the time we actually look like we fully executed this plan and we're successful, we got to anticipate the awakening. Because why? These guys are astrologers. They've been doing it. If they, they've been stole since slavery. They've been stole the records from Egypt. They've been stolen. And we know that the Egyptians and the Sumerians, amongst many other ancient cultures, anthropomorphize the celestial bodies. We've been new that the information that we was reading in the scriptures had celestial correspondences. We knew this. They knew this. They didn't just say, you know what, we don't know how they built those, those uh, monuments or those structures. Though most of the pyramids that we ever bear witness to are on the same 32 degree line of latitude tropical cancer, that can't be a coincidence. They're not gonna overlook nothing that they taught. They over there found out the alignment of the planets and what position they're in and what color they look like. Only to turn around and get the Sumerian tablets and realize that they already had that information. They're not going to ignore nothing at that point. They're going to take it very serious. They're going to undermine it to you and teach you to undermine it because they're going to control your information, your education, because it says you cannot hide your mind. So it says here, and they advise us that the best way to deal with the phenomenon is to shave off the brute's mental history. Anything pertaining to you that's of an intellectual level or capacity, we're going to diffuse every attempt you have to gain consciousness of knowledge itself. I said, this is some deep stuff, man. So they're trying to stop the awakening. Like, this gets more and more interesting. Let's go, on, baby. <laughs> I'm a 
Passa-lhe seu carro Não se o calo Me vi Só rap do rano Só foco O banho Te rap Agum Wa Isan Tô rei Aro é Nato amo Lê o mé Satu zaio Hau é Jaru jaru Chato zé Zado amo De te rei Stop the world. 